to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Melody Munch and I'm so excited because this week I get to take you along for my first ever time subbing in the classroom. Now, if you missed it, I taught second grade for the past eight years, but this year I am a full-time teacher resource creator working on resources for teachers from my brand Mrs. Munch's Munchkins. I have a whole video with more details on that that I will link for you if you want to know more. But I really miss my students, even though I'm so thankful for this role. I thought I would though, so to get that classroom fix and get a chance to see my past students, I signed up to be a sub just for my past school. The school that I worked at is a part of a very large district and they require all substitutes to go through a formal substitute training that is a few hours long. So even though I just worked for them, I did have to attend that training, which was kind of hilarious, but that's just how it works. So that was several hours long and they only have so many spots a year. So we're already into September. It's about the end of September and I just had my training two weeks ago and then they had to process all my paperwork. Luckily, I did get fast track for some of that. Everyone else had to like go get their background check and their fingerprints done, but those things I was able to have waived since they still had them on file, so that was nice. And now this week I have my first ever substitute job. This isn't something I'll get to do all the time because like I mentioned, Mrs. Munch's Munchkins is my full-time job, so I do have projects to work on every single week and lots of things that I need to get done, but on occasion, maybe once or twice a month, and specifically for my past teammates in second grade, or if there was a third grade opportunity to see my last year's students, those are the times where I would try to sub when I can just to help out the school and get a chance to see everybody. So I'm really excited because I actually get to sub for two days this week for one of my friends who teaches third grade. And that means she'll have some of my students from last year. So I cannot wait to see them. I don't know if she's told the class that it's going to be me subbing for them or not, or if they even know that they're having a sub. But regardless, I'm just so excited to see them and to be able to be at my school, just getting to be around everyone again. So today is a Monday. It's the day before I'm subbing. And I just made myself a little afternoon coffee because I want to get some things done and have some things for my business to do, but I also want to make some substitute slides. Now, I know it's usually the teachers who plan everything, but I just, I'm a little bit type A and I need to have a backup plan. So if we finish everything, I wanna make sure I have some things we can do. And I, of course, have some things that we could do that don't require much prep, but I just like the idea of having some things ready and planned in my slideshow. That way I can easily pull them up. I have a game that I've been wanting to make that would be perfect to put in the slides. Hopefully we'll get to play it. I mean, of course, first priority is to do whatever my friend has left for me to do. If we have extra time, then we would use this. If not, no big deal. I just feel, I feel less stressed and better to have this as a backup plan. I also have a paper that I want to make for the students if they have extra time that would be a fun activity they could do. And I want to throw in a slide or two about me because I know that she has some students who are new to the building that I didn't have and who don't know me. So just a quick introduction to for them. And I also want to throw in a class song because my friend, her name is Jaden, so I'll call her by her name so that I don't have to just keep saying my friend. So Jaden is actually partnering with me with my classroom songs because when I write new classroom songs now, I don't have a way to show how those will sound with a class right now. And that's previously how I would always include them. When I made a class song, I would teach it to my own class film it, that way other teachers could hear how it sounds with their class. So she's going to be partnering with me. I am compensating her for her time to teach her class the song, and then eventually I would come in and film either her singing it with them or myself singing it with them. That way I could use that to teach other teachers what this new songs sound like. So that means this class is going to be doing class songs. I don't think they've learned any yet, but I thought I would include one in my slides that way. I could start working with them on one if 
we have time. Let's get to work on making some of these things that we are all ready for tomorrow. Good morning, so it is Tuesday, the first day of my substitute teaching. And my school, actually my district where I taught, actually starts elementary school really late because the elementary, high school, and middle school share buses. So they have staggered start times, that way they can have the same bus drivers pick up the high school kids first. I think they start at 7 or 7.30 and then the middle school kids, and then that means the elementary kids are not starting till quite late compared to most schools that I've heard of. Their start time is 8.45, I think is when kids can start coming in. Nine o'clock is when the tardy bell rings. So, I don't personally mind because I'm not a morning person, and that gives me a little more time to get myself together in the morning, but it does mean that they get out late at four o'clock, so that's a con in a way, but a pro is that I had plenty of time to get ready this morning. I was a little worried because I have not been getting up early. I usually get up around 7.30 to 8. And today I was up at 6.30 just to make sure I had plenty of time. It's currently 7.20. So I'm going to do my devotional now and then I'm going to probably pick up a coffee. Because I'm expecting to be pretty tired. I have not taught a full day since the end of May, so I am out of practice, but also really excited for this opportunity. And just in case you're looking for some good devotionals, I would highly recommend anything by Daily Grace Co. Check their website because they will have really good sales. I stock it up on so many of their studies. I'll have to show you my little stack. I even get tons of extras if I like a study or think a study will be good so I can give them away as gifts. I'm almost done with this one. This was the 40 Days with Jesus one and it's just really good. It takes you through a small passage of scripture every day. Then it gives you some thoughts to think about and it has a space where you reflect with some journaling questions. Those are really good studies and oftentimes you can find the studies themselves on sale for five to ten dollars. So always stock up whenever they have that. Had to do a quick outfit of the day, which I will link in the description. I love this watch band from Lux Bands. The dress is Shein and the lanyard is Modern Main Company. It is really, really bright right here, but we've got our Starbucks secured. It is a pumpkin cream cold brew, so that seemed fitting for today. Okay, we just got the classroom screen up. Been a little crazy trying to find everything, but I think we are ready. Gonna set this up as they're coming in so you can see my greetings with my old kiddos. Kids are at specials right now. It's been going really well. I have a lot of students that I had last year and just students that I know from being a second grade teacher. Those students are in third grade and everyone's really sweet. Even the new students that are new to the school are so sweet. It's just a really, really good class. So super lucky for that. It is a little bit crazy because there ended up being another third grade teacher who couldn't be here today. And that sub, the sub that they had for that teacher isn't here yet or wasn't able to come so 
some of those kids ended up being in this room because they had to split that class. So it's a little bit crazy that this class has a sub and then they have students from another class that are split into here, but it's really okay because all of those students were amazing and I knew a lot of them and or the third thing. Oh, the class size. This class only had around 20 students, so to have six or so more really wasn't that big of a deal. It just feels like a normal class size. It's just different for them because they don't have like a normal spot in this room and they had to bring their supplies, but we're still having a really great day. It's going well, and I'm gonna go visit some of my old teammates now in second grade and just see what they're up to. It was so fun getting to stop in on both of my past teammates, and after that, I picked the students up and they had some must-dos and may-dos to do as reading activities. I also added the where is my teacher and letter to my teacher activity as extra may-dos for the students that finished early, and then they went to recess and lunch. So it is now lunch time for the kids. They went to recess and then lunch. Day is still going super great. They are such a good group of kiddos. I'm so lucky. And the other third grade teacher is back. I think she had an appointment. So her students went back. So now it's just the kids in this class. So going really, really well. I got to go see pop into my second grade friend's classrooms. And I'm going to go do that again. I have a few more minutes so I have to pick them up from lunch. And because I am just so type A, I decided to make slides for the rest of our day. I looked at the sub plan and just kind of made some quick slides because that's just how I teach best. So that was really easy to do. I did that in like 15 minutes and I just know that's really gonna help me. That way I don't have to be like looking at what the sub plan is every second as I have been. That way it'll just kind of help me flow through the rest of the day. So I'll show you what I did for those sub slides. And yeah, the end of the day is gonna go by really, really fast. We have some writing, science, and reading to do. And yeah, it's been a great day so far. I also got some sweet little notes from some of my past students. I have missed this. This was always something really sweet. I loved about teaching. I used to save every single one of them. Finally started going through and throwing away the ones that were like random drawings with no words, but once they're actual sweet little notes, I love to keep those. Here is a quick look at the sub slides I added. I added some for science and for adjectives and adverbs since they were doing an activity with that. And then I added some for the end of the day. So the first full day is now over and I'm back at home. It was really such a wonderful day and all we did try a new game that I showed you my process of creating before I went and stopped. It was the at the zoo game. It was so fun, but they were a little rowdy during the game. They were just very excited. So I'm looking for my folder. Okay. So we're gonna try it again tomorrow, and I'll have to set some ground rules of maybe playing, but making it really quiet whenever around ends because they were just so excited, and I didn't really get any footage of that because. I was just figuring it out, so I'll try and set that up tomorrow to where you can get a little bit of footage of them playing, but the rest of the day went really smooth. Then once I had my slides on the board, I just felt right back at home and was a lot more comfortable gliding through everything, so it's just my personality to have that visual support for myself on the board at all times, and luckily, I believe the second day of plans is also in this paper that my friend Jaden left for me. And so I took it home because I thought I could just go ahead and make tomorrow's plans in the slides. That way everything is there and I make sure we get to everything that she wants and that way we can just flow through it easily. So I'm gonna kind of set that up now and do a little bit of TPT work because I want to list a really cute new fall brag tag resource. I love passing out brag tags in the classroom when students do something amazing and these ones are just really cute little fall themed ones that I need to list in my store this evening. So I am going to do that and then relax the rest of the evening and get ready for another fun day of subbing tomorrow. Oh, I wanted to mention too, I realized when I was turning the last video off that I didn't share my beautiful bracelet, one of my girls from last year 
wore was wearing this today and wanted to give it to me and I always feel terrible about taking things from them but she was so insistent and it's adorable so really sweet of her to gift something to me. Two of my sweet girls from last year wore our class shirts. They did know that I was coming today and so they wore their cute little class shirts from last year and I didn't even notice at first until they came up and they were like look what we're wearing which was so thoughtful of them. And I don't feel too exhausted. I mean I did not have to do the heavy lifting. Perhaps that's why because I just got to go and like do you know something that someone else prepared for me but yeah, it was a really good day and excited to do it again tomorrow. Good morning. We are ready for day two. I feel really good. Last night I got what we're doing this morning all laid out on the slides and I have the teacher. Her class slide is up. She uses classroom screen, which is another great resource for some of her day. So I found, I could only find her Monday set and I finally found where her other days of the week are. So I put up her Wednesday morning slide and then we'll transition into the math slides that we're gonna be doing for the day that I made. And then when they go to specials, I have to prep, like I just prepped for the morning because I was tired last night. I was also cranking out TPT product and so I didn't really stop working till around eight and then I just wanted to enjoy time with my husband and we went on a walk and so I only got through just the morning, but that's fine. It was pretty quick to make, so I'll just make it as we go today and excited for another good day. We can learn, watch me learn, learn the daylight. Everything we do is gonna keep going in the brain. Watch me learn, learn the daylight. Everything we do is gonna keep going in the brain. Oh my god! While the students were at specials, I went and hung out with my past second grade teammates again. And then after they came back, we did some reading and we had a little pocket of extra time. So we played the at the zoo game again. This time I made a change that made the game so much better, so I'm gonna explain how to play using that chain. Essentially, the game works like four corners where each corner represents an animal. One corner is for the flamingos where they would do that motion, one is for the sloth, the other is for alligator, and the last is for gorilla. Students go to the corner of the animal they want to choose and they do the motion at that corner. This gets students up and moving and is fun for them to represent each animal with motion. I would count down from five and after that time they needed to be in a corner and they were locked in so they could not switch. Then we would spin the wheel and whatever animal it lands on, that animal is out so they have to sit down. The game continues to play with different rounds. Students can stay at the same animal or switch animals and they keep playing until there's four players left. Those final four go to different animal corners and then we spin for the winner. So the actual winner of the game is spun and whatever animal it lands on in the final four, that person wins. Okay, so it is now lunchtime. We've had a super great day. It's gone so smoothly. And yeah, I'm just really excited with how the day has gone. We tried the at the zoo game again and I took some video that I will show you. It was so much better. They still were really excited about it, but there was a lot less screaming and I changed something to make it work much better. So instead of having all the students just stand and make their animal poses as the spinner was going, instead I had them kind of play the game like four corners where one corner was the flamingo corner. One was the gorilla, one was the alligator, one was the sloth. So whatever animal they were picking, they went to that corner and did the motion. If they were sloth, alligator, gorilla, or flamingo. And that was so much easier because then whenever it landed on an animal, we could just say, okay, that corner sits down because it landed on their corner. So that made it much easier to play and more seamless. So if I if I were to play again, I would introduce the game like that. I also worked with the class on one of the morning songs that's brand new. 
because their teacher is going to be working with me and they have only sent it two times and they literally sound so amazing i was so blown away i gave everyone a jolly rancher and here's a quick outfit check of the day i love these pants and we'll link them they're so comfy so i am now home from my days of subbing the end of our second day was still really good we definitely had a few hiccups we played the game i told you about again and there was a bit of a debacle on the winner because many students thought the student that won had been out in an earlier round but I didn't remember seeing that and the student insisted that they were not out earlier and that was a different game. And that's very common, nothing I haven't seen before. So we just had to kind of talk that one through and I decided to honor the student that won because we weren't really sure and that made a lot of the other students upset because they were very sure that that person had been out. So sometimes you just gotta make the best judgment call you can and that's what i told them is that i'm just gonna make the best judgment call i could and that was my last jolly rancher if i'd had more i would have given one to everybody who was still in but i had one left and so that's just how it had to shake out and i told them you know you can talk to your teacher about it i left Jaden a note so she knows about it if they choose to play again and they can like you know be watchful of that but a few other things like that happened that are, like I said, things that I've definitely seen before, nothing that was new, but you know, it's their second day having a sub, things are just a little bit different. I don't know their usual routines, and so it's just a different day, but they were not bad in any way. Kind of one of those things where I'm trying to make the best judgment call I can on what they can do in given situations, like how much talking they can do during an activity and I'm trying to keep things flowing but then some students might be done early so what are they gonna do and so there's just normal classroom stuff happening at the end of the day and all still a really great day we had a nice little time at the very end where we did our magic trash game which I love playing I had saved one piece of candy that a different student had given me so that I could give that out as the magic trash prize and they did so good cleaning the room they are really good at like just putting things up anyway, so they did great. And then we had a little closing circle moment or afternoon meeting where we talked about some positive points of the day or highlights. They have a cute little shout out wall and I'd written some shout outs to give out on that. So I read those and the students had also written shout outs to each other and to me, which was so sweet. So I gave those out and that was our little compliment time of the day and i think that was it yeah so then we just lined up and they went home and we are done so felt really good they even asked me as i was leaving there's a, a sub needed for another teacher on friday but i have some things already planned for that day so i told them two days is good for this week but there's definitely a chance i'll be back subbing in the same grade or another grade in the future so i'm looking forward to it but it was just the perfect amount for me to just kind of be back in the classroom see all my sweet students and have some fun with them but definitely excited to get back to my teacher business work for thursday and friday this week and right now nick and i are going to go out to dinner and have some mexican food so i'm really looking forward to that so that's where we're going to end the vlog here i hope you enjoy hearing about my days as a substitute for the first time and that these activities and things that we did that i shared are helpful to you if you are a regular teacher or a sub or planning to be one so i will see you in the next video bye